What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Battle Knight. This is a brand new hero collector idol game that just came out a couple of days ago. So if you do want to download the title, I will have the links in the description below. So let's start this off as we always do, starting off with the heroes that you can collect. Now this game is brought to you by the same exact team that brought you Clone Evolution. And if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you might remember that Clone Evolution, out of all the idol games that I have ever covered, I actually actually played Clone Evolution the longest due to the fact that I just really enjoyed that game's character design and aesthetic. That was the game, if you guys do not remember, let me try to ring a bell for you. That was the game that had the post-apocalyptic reimagined cyborg versions of like Hillary Clinton, Obama, Trump, Einstein, Joan of Arc, things of that nature. So that whole art style aesthetic is here present in Battle Knight. And that's why a game like this gets an easy stamp of approval from FG because I'm all about collecting characters that I can't collect in other games. Like, give me some unique characters to collect and I'm down, right? That's why I'm always ripping on like the female elf in a green outfit shooting bow and arrows. Like, dude, I see that so often. I'm not trying to collect the same old tired elf I can collect in almost any game. Give me something new, give me something different. Give me a, a boxing chick with turbine arms, all right? That's what I wanna see. Um, so easy step of approval, doing good so far. So let's go ahead and jump into combat. Now, like I said before, this is an idle game. So so whether you're online or offline, you're going to be getting resources that are going to help you level up your characters, get gold, etc., etc. Um, let's go ahead and fight this boss encounter, which I might not be strong enough to defeat. Um, here's the squad that we're going to be bringing into combat. So four backline members along with two frontline. So six doing pretty good with six team members. I love to see it. Um, just like in a lot of other idle games, this game does have like synergy bonuses as well. Um, so right now I'm bringing two martial heroes. That's going to boost my attack of martial heroes. And also I have two nature heroes. That's going to boost their health as well well um so basically in a game like this it's very old school when it comes to its idol you don't really have any control on combat whatsoever your team is just going to do their things once they have their ultimates they're going to do their ultimate so the entire strategy of a game like this comes down to making sure your team is leveled making sure they have good gear and making sure that you have proper synergies when it comes to the factions that those heroes are a part of and that's pretty much it but I gotta say, when it comes to the, the visual aesthetic, when it comes to combat here, I really do like the way this game looks. Um, this is some of the, like look at some of the characters here. I'm really, oh man, I'm getting rocked. I'm getting rocked. <laughs> well, well, you know, uh, there you go. Don't worry about that. Um, but I really do like the 3D backgrounds that they decided to go with. Um, this is going to give me an opportunity to kind of show you a little bit more variety when it comes to that. So that's the campaign stage that I'm stuck on. You know how idle games are. You're going to hit a stage that you're just not going to be able to defeat right now. You just need to idle a little bit longer and come back to it later. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into a PvP match. Because once again, I want to show you um, some of the different aesthetics in the backgrounds here. Because they did a really good job. So although you have no control over combat whatsoever it's still a very pretty game to look at um i do like when you get a crit you get this kind of like blur effect this cyberpunk effect don't don't be comparing this game to cyberpunk fg come on you know what i'm talking about look a little bit right a little bit <laughs> so i do like the aesthetic but once again this is going to be a game that if you're not a big fan of idle games this game is probably not going to change your mind once again it just comes down to idling collecting and watching right that's what it kind of boils down to um, but i do like it um the game does have vip but what i found thus far is that none of the quality of life features are locked behind vip um so as you guys just saw right there if i get tired of watching my team pvp i can always just skip through combat rinse and repeat on normally that's something that's locked behind like vip 2 3 and things of that nature not here in this game um the only thing that vip really does is kind of give you more opportunities so if if you're like a higher VIP, you're gonna do more PVP, you're gonna be able to do more raids, more things of that nature. Um, whereas a free to play player is only gonna have a limited amount per day. So as always, I would rather you just not do VIP at all, but if you're gonna do VIP, don't lock basic quality of life features behind it because burnout is gonna make you lose players just as fast, right? Um, so, so far I showed you my campaign. This is Arena. Um, the other things that you can do in this game are very straightforward. Of course, you have your tried and true dispatch mode. Once again, this is not locked behind VIP, so I can do smart, dispatch, and away they go. Um, once again, I've seen a lot of other games that try to lock this really boring kind of exercise behind a VIP thing where you have to do it one by one by one manually. I'm glad they didn't do that in this game. I don't know what was going on with that little lag there, but luckily I had plenty to say to fill the loose time. Um, and if you don't, you know, have something that you can actually fulfill, you can refresh it with this in-game currency right over here. 
until you find something that fits, or I could probably just wait and do some summons in this video. But whatever, there you go. And there you go. Now, I'm fully dispatched. That is that. Um, the garage, this is where you can kind of craft gear and things of that nature. Um, you can also disassemble things that you're not using. Once again, there's a nice little smart feature. Disassemble all your low-end gear. This will get you gears to create higher-end gears. Rinse and repeat on. Um, so if I go over here to forge, let's say I want to forge a purple piece of gear. I can do that based on gold and all the gear that I just got by dismantling the gear that I'm not using. Um, so very straightforward when it comes to that. Um, this is very kind of reminiscent to a lot of other idle games out there so that's dispatch that is going to be your crafting system there um the store is where you can get ripped off and buy things for just flat out currency and gold if you choose to i'll go ahead and buy that one right there not a big deal and then all of your different gameplay modes also have their respective shops as well which you're going to kind of see more of that as you play the game look at some of the character designs yo <laughs> that's why I, I really like this team this team does a really good job of just having some wild looking characters dude i like that did i miss anything all right, no, no characters there. No characters there. All right, all right. Um, over here at the club, this is where we're going to be doing our summons. Shout out to our little summon diva right there. We'll do that in a little bit. I want to show the rest of the game off first. Next thing up is going to be your gray market. So if I had a bunch of low-end characters, I can once again hit smart, sell all those low-end characters, and use their resources to power up the characters that I actually care about. Um, same thing applies to evolution as well. You can kind of get a feel for some of the other characters that are in the game. Very, very cool. Once again, there's not any other games out there that have an art style that look like this. So for me, that puts it above a lot of other idle games just by that alone. Um, next thing up, we have a little arcade, so you can just do some random draws once again. <laughs> if, you, if you wanted to know if gotcha games were gambling or not, there you go. So very straightforward. Spend your little currency. You got to do two of these per day. So we'll go ahead and grab some of these refresh tokens for our dispatch modes. That is that. 24-hour fitness, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be kind of your daily resource grinds. Once you defeat a stage, you never have to do it again. You can just quick battle that. And once again, that is not locked behind any type of VIP whatsoever. I have not done this one just yet. So let's go ahead and see what this background looks like. So we're in. Shout out to Tony Hawk. We're over here in, in a little skate park. And we get another kind of a preview of some of the other character designs here. Nice little bus saw there. I like it, dude. I love a good futuristic mixed with fantasy design. Very big fan of this once again. I do think it needs a times three speed though. I think times two is nice and all. I think times three might just be, might be perfect. And down, yeah, go. I like, the, I like that little effect on the crits. Tell me what you guys think about that. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, but I do know sometimes people see like extra effects like that and it kind of bothers them over time. Um, but I, I like it thus far. Um, so that's going to be 24 hour fitness. And other than that, the, I only have three gameplay modes that I have not unlocked just yet. So here at level 50, that's probably some type of rating. Level 35 here. And then there is like a level 40 thing over here. So um, more to come on that one. Um, we also have like this little tower mode here as well. Um, but it's a mine. So instead of going higher and higher and higher, you're going lower and lower and lower. And as you defeat bosses in this mode, you can then go to the previous stages and just dig it up and get resources that way as well so very nice quality of life when it comes to tower modes i like when games do that uh, but that's pretty much the game ladies and gentlemen get characters upgrade them idle rinse and repeat on um there is an event going on right now um since the game had just launched to unlock this character for free called faceless who looks very cool um so just complete like some basic task here and you'll eventually unlock her for free so let us go ahead and do some summons and then i'll show you what the upgrade process looks like and then we'll call the video a do um so we'll do some basic summons here unfortunately our hot little uh, summon diva doesn't get involved in the summon process she just looks at you uh, while she shakes up your martini what <laughs> dude i love to see it <laughs> it's kiki do you love me? oh no it says kill uh, I thought I said Kiki. Whatever. <laughs> All right, let's do another one right there. Dude, that dude looks dope. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. I like that guy. All right, and we'll do some of these senior hires here. It's going to be the higher tier. I already got that character here, um, but more of him is going to allow me to evolve him quicker. Already seen that guy. Here is Maya. Wow, okay. What is wrong with your arm, lady? Dude, she has like some like weird arm. Like she got some uh let me see she transplanted she transplanted birch onto her body okay <laughs> i'm not sure how <laughs> look at 
my boy right over here. That's what I'm talking about. Get your game on, brother. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna be playing this game for a little while. Just like, wow. Wait a minute. Get out of that, dude. I think I just got banned, and we got um, a very cool character here. Very nice. I was hoping for a hot waifu. I got one more. Actually, we can do a multi pull too. There goes kangaroo, and then let's do a quick multi pull snake talker. And then, oh, she looks very cool. Flying squirrel? Dude, she has a gang of squirrels. <laughs> All right, very, very cool. I like, dude, I like the art here very much, very, very much. Um, and then if we go back over here, um, actually click on this, I'll show you the upgrade process. So very straightforward, use your idle currency to upgrade your character. Um, as far as the heroes are concerned, they actually have a bit of progression. So check this out, once I hit two star, I have the ability to change the way that my pain blow worked, right? So basically when I attack a stun unit, there's a 40% probability to gain 40 rage points. The higher my rage, the closer I am to doing an ultimate, right? So I decided to say, you know what? I want that to be an 80% chance to gain rage points. Or you can go down route two, and make your rage recovery 60 as opposed to 40. So a little bit of customization when it comes to your characters in an idle game, you love to see it. Um, one touch button when it comes to upgrading your character's gear, one touch to take it all off, put it back on, very, very nice. And then the evolution process here is very straightforward once again. Um, take duplicates of your character, mix with some uh, basic fodder, and that'll upgrade your character up to purple. And then you can also upgrade your star level by getting this little currency right over here that you get as rewards and by idling. So, so that will do it, ladies and gentlemen, once again. My name is FG3000. I thank you a ton for watching FG. What you looking at? I'm trying to analyze, am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Are those nip nips? I can't tell if those are nip nips or not. <laughs> FG, if you gotta look that hard, they probably aren't. I don't know, man. I don't know. Those just might be. I can't risk it. I can't have Susan coming after me. I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.